On March 2nd, students from Virginia Run Elementary School placed one heck of a long distance phone call. On the other end of the line, at a location some 250 miles straight up, an astronaut aboard the International Space Station, or ISS. School Scene's Margaret Kivlin has the story. Margaret? The special guest speaker this student is talking to isn't in the auditorium. In fact, she isn't even on the planet. Commander Sunny Williams is in the International Space Station, where she's been living for several weeks along with a crew of fellow astronauts and scientists. With the help of the Vienna Wireless Society, Commander Williams is answering questions in an unusual science assembly for elementary students. Well, Sunny Williams is a friend of mine and my husband's, and uh, when I heard that her launch was coming up, I talked to her on the phone and I said, is there any way we can talk to you in space, thinking no, but she said yes, just find some ham radio operators. So I literally went on the internet, looked for something close, and I found the Vienna Wireless Society, and uh, so we got with them, and then I talked to people at NASA, and uh, we became a crew pick with Sunny, and she got three crew picks, so this school it was one of them. The assembly was quite an undertaking for everyone involved, with collaboration on all fronts. The Vienna Wireless ham operators started building their stations two weeks before the event. FCPS logistics and engineering staff helped run the feed through closed-circuit television to other students in the school. On top of all that, there was a short window of only a few minutes that the conversation could happen, since the space station constantly moves and needed to be in range of the radio waves so the students could talk to Commander Williams. We have uh, two complete radio stations established here at the school. We have radio equipment here in the gym, we have antennas up on the roof, and uh, things while they're powered on uh, the regular uh, wall power, everything is also powered on backup batteries. So we're prepared for any contingency uh, to continue with the contact. My name is Nikki Spray. What are your daily activities? Over. Hi, Nikki. Well, every day is different. We do all sorts of things from spacewalks, which we call EVAs, to robotics works. We have a robotic arm outside, which we use to connect different parts of the space station with, to science experiments, as well as just cleaning up. We had this event so that children would really increase their understanding and their enthusiasm for the space projects, whether it's the International Space Station or the Space Shuttle or meteorology. It's a science that waxes and wanes. This was a good way to get enthusiasm drummed up for the space sciences. And it's a big part of our curriculum, especially in fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. When I was a first grader, we would come into the gym for an Apollo launch on a black and white TV and the whole school was in the gym and now one generation later my kids can talk to somebody live in space. You know, who knows what will happen for them and their children. For School Scene, I'm Margaret Kivlin.